big uh, lawsuits coming out, uh, Louisiana, Texas, Florida. Those are big ones. I want to talk a little bit more if, if these things don't prevail and Biden's rule takes effect at the beginning of the school year. What sort of things children are going to face? Are they going to be ousted if they use the wrong uh, or punished if they use the wrong pronouns? Yes. In fact, they will, and it will chill the children's speech because they will be required to not only use the pronouns, uh, preferred pronouns of their peers, but also of their teacher, uh, which is shocking. You can look at Washington State or Oregon or California where you've heard stories about this type of gender identity being discussed in the classroom or secret transitions happening, even in the free state of Florida, there are actually court cases going on across the country where government schools have actually taken students and had private conversations behind closed doors about the child's perceived want of changing their gender. This means boys on your girls' sports teams. This means boys in your girls' locker rooms. And this also means that if a child comes forward and says, I think I'm confused about my gender. The school used to be a mandatory reporter. They would have to report if they thought the parent was abusing the child. Now, if you're not willing to change your child's gender and affirm that want of change of gender, now they can report you for child abuse because the federal government has now given them a mandate to socially transition your child.